Hello, I'm uh, Dennis van Hoof. I'm uh, an operator here at the Belgian User Support Center. So what you see here is um, the Fluid Science Laboratory. That's a rack that is present also in the International Space Station, the Columbus module of the European Space Agency. And so this is a rack that is dedicated to uh, fluid dynamics experiments. In this rack, in this drawer actually, it can open we can place experiment containers. So those are experiment containers that are dedicated to single experiments usually. The experiment that we are now launching and installing is the experiment PASTA that is uh, foreseen to study the dynamics of emulsions. So this is a sample cell typically that we have here for, for some tests on the ground and uh, contains also emulsions uh, in this one particularly. These sample cells would fit inside here, a port inside a, a carousel that can turn around inside the experiment container so that each of these sample cells can be observed by the cameras. And we also have here a standalone elements, the cameras that are actually inside SMD. This is the overview camera taking 2D images. So to have an overview of the sample cell, it's looking at the sample cells from above. And this is the line camera, which is actually recording one line at a time, but at very high rates. It can go up to 80,000 lines per second. And this line camera is actually looking from the side at a very high speed uh, through this prism. Yep, we moved upstairs now from uh, the lab now into the control room of uh, Biuzok. We have two large screens, uh, one with the timeline, one with live images from the International Space Station. So we can follow when a crew is installing our, our experiment, we can follow it live. So here a typical console is composed of a lot of screens. So, um, and each let's say uh, part of the console has its own uh, function. And here you have the main console in which we receive all the parameters, all the telemetry, like we call it, all the temperatures, all the status of the experiment live in all those displays that we are using. And we are also receiving live the images of the experiment samples. Um, from, from the different cameras like we've seen downstairs in the lab. From here we also have the possibility to send commands to the experiment, so to really control what is happening with the experiment. And so we would do that whenever we have to change to another sample or adjust um, some parameters of the experiment.